Konnichiwa everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Shadow Warrior Classic on No Pain No Gain. This is the second and final secret level of the game, level 22, Auto Mall. Back up, immediately blow up those barrels, breathe, and then shoot about two grenades down here. Actually, one might be enough. I think there's barrels down there too. So, how's that for an instant hot start? Welcome everyone to the second and, in my opinion, best secret level of the map, Auto Mall. It's a car show. Everyone loves a nice car show, even if the cars do look like a uh, colored cubes. Those are some blocky station wagons. Also invisible wall. So yes, this is the second secret map. I think it's eh, about as short as uh, Shanghai Shipwreck. But definitely more fun. Just a more enjoyable environment overall. It doesn't mean it's all going to be a cakewalk, though. Oh, you dodged that, did you? Try dodging that. There's where that guy is. Okay. I was waiting for him. And yeah, look where we are. Old Duke Burger. Again, I love those tongue-in-cheek jokes. More barrels to blow up because build engine. And take care of some more ninjas over here. And then there should be a couple of coolie ghosts if the grenades didn't also kill them, which they may have. Yep. I can't even hear them flying around. We got them. Nice. So. Secret number one. See the one and only phone that has a flashing light? Use it to move the soda machine. Grab you some goodies. Now you can also jump on the little lower platform of these phones, jump onto the soda machine, and jump inside this vent here for a guardian head, which is not a secret, oddly enough, if you so need it. Um, yeah, we'll open this one. This is actually a door, and there's going to be some bad guys in here, mostly just ninjas. Yeah, mostly the easier to deal with brown ones. Oh, you're good at dodging missiles by just walking around. And then I think there's one hiding in the trunk of that. Yep. Hiding in the bed of that truck. And there is one more brown one. And the coast is now clear. Excellent. And here is the door that leads back to the starting area. And a red keycard door. Well, we got the blue key card from, I believe, somewhere in the Duke Burger. I've, <laughs> I was focused on just the gameplay. I forget where you actually pick up the card. But here is the blue key card door. Now, the showroom. <laughs> oh, boy. The showroom is not very big and has not one, not two, not even three, but four of the level's six secrets. Ready for this? Let's go. Open the door. Immediately blow up the brown or the gray ninja. There's a brown ninja over there, and another one right there. And, you know what, let's go ahead and get the uh, shadow ninja up here. There's going to be at least one shadow ninja. I think there's actually two. Yep, there's one. See how he kind of blends in with that shadow right there? Oh, there's the other one. And there we go, okay. Both the Shadow Ninjas are gone. Well, there's one of the secrets, by the way. <laughs> but we're going to go in order from 1 through 4. Or rather, 2 through 5, I should say. And once you grab that red key card, be careful. You're going to spawn in two uh, miniature sumos. And no, I think I'll save the nuke for the final battle. It's more dramatic that way. Well, now I'll use it on these guys. Um, so yes, anyway, secret number two, go inside this little, uh, receptionist area here, I guess it is, and you want to use the monitor, not the computer, to lower this filing cabinet, portable med kit, and some caltrops. Secret number three is inside this low area here, looks like a maintenance area, absolutely riddled with baby rippers, and a Kevlar armor vest. Secret number four is in this little truck display area. See this slightly darker piece of wall? 
It is a door. Lots of goodies in there. Shot shells, missiles, and a smoke bomb. Which I don't think I'll be using in this map, but it's nice to see. And secret number five is right here. It was a crack in the wall next to a trash can. Go in here for a med kit and a gas bomb. Alright, now grab the red key card. And be careful, two of the five enemies that spawn in are those miniature sumos. Oh, there's a coolie as well. If I can just uh, get you guys in my sights, please. You know what? That's good enough. Haven't used the nuke in a while. Oh, I think only one of the... Oh, it only got one of the uh, sumos. Normally you can hear both of them dying at the same time, which includes both of them uh, voiding at the same time. And unfortunately, you cannot blow up the corpses of the miniature boss monsters, so you have to wait for the noxious gases there to go away. Surely this nuke must have at least weakened him. And it did. Okay. Grab that and run away. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from, Mr. Ghost? Did the nuke... The nuke must have killed the coolie. Yeah, there he is. It killed the coolie without blowing him up. Interesting. I don't think explosives could do that. Apparently they can. Huh. What do you know? Okay, and now that we have the red key card. Oh, sorry, sir. You cannot do that. Neither can you. But yes, now that we have the red key card, we can actually go in the red key card door, which is right here. And inside this tiny little room, which leads to uh, what looks like a mechanics uh, garage is the sixth and final secret, and this one's kind of unique. You have to turn off the lights. A flash bomb and a grenade launcher. And look at this, all these rippers. Let's see if we can't just blow open that, whoa, hello. Blow up that canister to whittle their health down a good bit. Ow, why are you all so aggressive all of a sudden? Jeez, and there should be one more atop this bay. There you are. Hey, how you doing? All right, and yeah, we're almost done. This is a very, very short little map, but we're going to open this. Ooh, didn't think he'd be right there. That's okay. Okay, I think we blew. Yeah, so there's one ninja there, and then there's two stationary ninjas behind two stacks of explosive barrels. So I figured the grenade was the quickest way of dealing with them, and it was at the cost of a bit of my own health, but that's okay. There is actually a, oh, okay, you're never on this ledge. What the hell's going on? There is actually a um, fortune cookie in the Duke Burger that I left alone at the time because I didn't need it. There's the exit, but we need the green key card to access it. And we need the green card to open this door as well. Yeah, we're on the other side of the green key card door. It's kind of odd that you cross through a differently colored key card door to get a different key card, but hey, that's how it works. Them's the brakes. That armor vest I don't quite need yet, so we'll just leave it be. So with the yellow key card in hand, we can now go inside the central... I guess this is like the admin office here. With two guardians. Yeah, not the easiest environment to fight guardians in, but... They don't deal too much damage, thankfully. Yep, there's Titsubishi again. And here's the other door out of the admin offices. In case you want to use it. And the final fight. So this can be a little dangerous. There's going to be one or two Shadow Ninjas out there in the main display area. So I think what I'm actually going to do is use the other door. And get him through here. And let's kick on the night vision goggles because it makes these guys easier to see. There you are. Hey, where are you going? You ain't going nowhere. And the final eight enemies should all be... Behind this door. There's a ripper. Two rippers. Alright, come get some. Oh, they came and got some. And we'll just uh, bank a few grenades. Oh, hello. I think I'm too far away for his uh, fire attack to hit me. I saw him clap his hands, but nothing happened. <laughs> and we'll just bank a few more grenades for good measure. I think there's one more sumo back there, but I'm not entirely sure. It might just be coolies and rippers and such. 
and maybe a guardian as well. And the grenades may not be bouncing quite far enough. That's okay. We'll just wait out the fumes. There we go. Peekaboo! Oh, there is one more sumo. Okay. And the grenades did hit him because he just died. Nice. Beautiful. And that's it. We're finished. Now let's go get that fortune cookie that I left behind on purpose. Don't think I need anything else. More Uzi ammo would be nice. Oh, hey. Uzi ammo. Perfect. And grenade shells. And a fortune cookie. Man who stand on toilet high on pot. <laughs> Indeed he is. Man, look at all this Uzi ammo. Jesus. I wonder if uh, the stationary ninjas dropped some of this. I bet you they probably did. That's who I was shooting those grenades in there at earlier. And I believe there's nothing else really to scavenge around. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? There is. I lied. Albeit unintentionally. Now I can get this armor vest. Check it out. And yep, we're done. Take one last view at these lovely blocky cars out there. And let's just uh, get the hell out of here. And that was Auto Mall, the second and last secret map of the original game. And a very fun one. Like I said, it's much better than Shanghai Shipwreck, mainly because it's just a better looking environment. It's, it's the more, uh, I don't know, I guess you can call it like an urban style environment, even though you're inside of a building and not really out on the streets. Whereas in Shanghai Shipwreck, you're in like an older temple setting, which I like those okay. Nothing wrong with them. I just prefer these. Um, but yeah, short, sweet, right to the point. A uh, good little decent chunk of Shadow Ninjas to take out, and like, what, four miniature sumos? That's pretty crazy. So yeah, they, they aren't going to let you take anything for free in this map, that's for damn sure. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about that one. A short, sweet, and simple little secret map. The final one of two. And now we just get into the final stretch of regular levels. And they are going to get more and more challenging as we get nearer to Zilla himself. But until next time, everybody, that was Auto Mall. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all have an amazing rest of your day or night. And I will see you next time when we visit level 14. There are, uh, technically there's 22 maps. This was map 22 because it's, you know, the secret level. That's how they number them. So levels 14 through 20 are all that's left. So we have, what is that, seven? Seven maps to go. And level 14 is next. So until next time, I will see you all next time. Bye bye. Low wing. Oh, bit of zip fly. <laughs>